Hello and welcome. Yes, I am Rob Floss. Yes, I went to school to be a painter. Thank you for joining me. We're going to create beauty here together. Shall we start? Come on. Okay, let's get started. We're going to start with a color palette. We're going to have some of this uh, aluminum brown, mixing with some of this uh, cadmium green, and some of this uh, nice orangish hue here. And we're going to mix all these together. The um, different blues are going to be making up the mountains. We're going to uh, use this small wedge brush, and we're going to kind of uh, start at the top really just pulling down the shape. We don't really care about anything outside of the outside edge, but we're just kind of going to pull the paint. You can hear how hard I'm scraping against the canvas. It really don't matter how it looks once we get below the mountain line because there's definitely mist and other things going on right there. So I'm just going to pull this, we're going to pull the paint down and just use your uh, brush and really throw these lines down. As we can see, it's definitely uh, one of the more popular things to do, having small snow cap mountains. I'm going to add a couple of those down here with some titanium white, and we'll blend that in a bit. So I think we're going to end there and maybe, maybe start in on some pine trees. Now we're going to start with the fan brush. We're going to pull it through the paint to so the end of the bristles. We're going to load it up the paintbrush. This is a good way to uh, have it at the end of the bristles and really be able to start with something powerful. So as we know here, there's many different kinds of bristles on different brushes, but the fan brush really loads up on the paint and gives it a nice thick texture here. Again, really pulling at the canvas. Kind of starting with the edge of the brush and kind of just tapping down. Kind of trying to fill up this negative space. Pulling it harder back and forth towards the base of the tree, really adding so there's like nice little branches. Everybody knows that there's lots and lots of branches on these kinds of trees, but what they don't know is that there's many branches on the other side of the tree as well. Nice little spots so that little birdies can nest when having their spot in nature created just especially for God, embracing their happy moment in nature. Okay, yeah, this is just one type of an evergreen tree that you're going to see up here in the Pacific Northwest. We're going to start again with the wedge brush. And we're really going to put in some white titanium and pull the dr brush through there. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, oh yes. This, this is what you want to see. Oh, yeah, that's great. Okay. Now we're going to move to the canvas, and we're really going to start with small circular motions here. Small circular motions, just filling up the top of it, using the corner of the brush. Really just filling the tops of the clouds. Painting small circular white fluffy things. Kind of add as many layers of cloud as you really can into this. As many layers as you can fit in. I'm really going to do small circular motions, just just layering, just making layers of clouds, putting as many layers of clouds into your world as you can imagine, just making a happy little cloud. Now we're going to use a bigger brush, and we're going to load it with some of this nice cobalt. We're really just going to pull down, just pull down. Just kind of making it more of a subtle cloud here in the sky. Just pulling it down. Just pulling down the cloud. But yeah, like I said, don't be afraid to 
put as many layers as you want to, and we're just blending the base. Blend it out. Blend it. Just blend it out. Just blend out the base here with as many layers as you need. Oh yeah. Now we're getting now we're getting into some place that's a good happy place for clouds. Good happy place. as we need here. Okay. 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 Welcome back. As you can see here, I've been painting for many years. Maybe if you spend more time with me on my painting program, you will also be able to achieve, achieve the same amount of mastery in your painting. Being able to focus on the contour and the shape and embracing your happiness. Hi, thank you for coming and enjoying this program. I hope you have learned a lot and you want to become an inspired artist and have a long successful career, possibly as a teacher or a showing working artist. Thank you for coming. Goodbye.